Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Odoo WooCommerce Connector by Emipro. In this video I'll show you how to configure a WooCommerce instance in Odoo. For that, go to WooCommerce, scroll down, go to Configurations, Settings. So over here you can see all the configurations that are required to be set up. In that the first one is Selecting Instance. Remember, you can connect multiple WooCommerce instances to Odoo with the help of this connector and when you have created multiple instances, it will show up on this list. Right now I just have one, so I'll select that. After that, under General Information, the first option we have is Warehouse. So when you click here, you can select a warehouse in this list. Remember, all the orders that you import from WooCommerce to Odoo will be processed and fulfilled through this warehouse. After that, you have to select the company and then the language. This language will be visible to your storefront customers. After that, under product information, we have discount and fees. Let's say a customer places an order on your WooCommerce store and they apply a coupon code and become eligible for a discount. Or let's say they select payment method as cash on delivery and you charge them some amount extra for selecting that payment method. Now the way WooCommerce handles the concept of discount and fees and the way Odoo handles it is different. So when you import an order from WooCommerce to Odoo, what Odoo will do is it will create a separate product for discount and fees and you will need to configure those products as type service over here. So you can select them here or you can create and edit them and remember to set the product type as service so this will create a new entry in your sales order after this under payment information the first option we have here is price list now price list is a unique concept in Odoo when you export products from Odoo to WooCommerce you would want to set some price rules on the basis of which those products will be exported now, where do you exactly configure uh, these price rules? The answer is price list. So this list will show a list of price lists that you have created and you can select them. But where exactly do you configure these price lists? I'll show you that. For that, go to sales. I'll open it in new tab and go down to price lists. So on this screen, you can create a new price list and set price rules as per your requirements and then those new price list will be available back here in this list and you can configure them as per your requirements after this we have payment term as you can see 15 days 13 days immediate payment so when I select a payment term that payment term will be printed on the invoice so the option that you want to set here will be uh, after how many days should the invoice be paid uh, so you can set that payment term for the invoice over here next we have under order information the first option over here is import order status now when a customer places an order on your WooCommerce store that order will have a certain order status to it like pending payment processing on hold completed so when you select some order status over here like pending payment processing so when you import orders from your WooCommerce to Odoo only the order statuses that you set over here will be imported so you can set that here after this you have prefix now for example you are running multiple WooCommerce stores and you want to uh, import orders from all those stores but you want to separate them out using some prefix so you can set that over here you can give it a name say UK or USA so you can select the prefix as per your needs I will just keep hash after this we have sales team so who will be handling the orders that are imported you need to select a team that will handle the orders that are imported so you can do that from here so website sales after this we have these two options auto order import and auto order update now you would like to automate certain tasks you wouldn't want to do them manually all the time 
one such task is auto order import when a customer places order on your woocommerce store at certain intervals those orders should be automatically in- imported to odoo you can do that by checking this option on and over here it will show you uh, at how much interval do you want to import those orders so i can set say 5 minutes starting from right now so this are the settings that i can uh, create and it will automatically import orders at a certain interval that i set here if you don't want to do that automatically you can uncheck this the same thing applies to auto order update you can uh, set the automatic job or cron job for this as well but what will auto order update do uh, after importing an order in odu you will process that order and fulfill that order so the order status will change to completed but uh, that updated order status is not reflected back in woocommerce so if you want it to be reflected back in woocommerce automatically you can do that from here so you can check that over here next under stock information we have two fields that is stock field and stock auto update now what are these fields and this one is pretty simple stock auto update so your products in odu will have a certain stock level certain inventory level and you would wa- you would want the same inventory level to be reflected in your woocommerce store so you can do that automatically at certain ev- intervals so whenever stock levels change in your odu the same stock levels will be reflected in your woocommerce store for your products however if you do not want that to happen automatically you can also do that manually and you can uncheck this this field stock field it has two options quantity on hand and forecast quantity so uh, what exact amount of stock do you want to export it can either be quantity on hand or it can be forecast quantity so you can select that from here quantity on hand is uh, what you actually have on hand and forecast quantity is if you have already some orders placed or some procurement requests uh, and it it calculates a forecasted quantity so if you want to export that amount uh, for your stock you can select that so this will be based upon your needs so here we have uh, configured all the settings that are required to be configured for uh, a woocommerce instance so we will apply these settings by clicking on apply and those settings will be successfully applied for your woocommerce instance you can see that here now once this is done you need to confirm the status of your woocommerce instance go to configuration and click on instances and you will be able to see the instance that you created and configured over here the instance name is uk it will show the state as not confirmed so i'll uh, click on this and uh, here it shows me an option of checking the connection so after configuring all the details i need to check the connection between odu and woocommerce for that i'll click here service working properly so it is working properly so i can confirm this instance as you can see the uh, status of this instance is set to confirmed i'll show you over here as well see the state is confirmed remember any kind of import export operations between woocommerce and odoo will only take place when the state of instance is confirmed so remember to set that thank you for watching this video i hope the video was helpful Emi Pro specializes in providing customization, consultancy and support for any and all services related to Odoo. So feel free to contact us on www.emiprotechnologies.com.